There is an inheritance tax, I understand, but that is rather misunderstood, isn't it? Yeah, there actually is not an inheritance tax, so I like the fact that you brought it up that way. Because, I misunderstood. No, yeah, exactly. A lot of people do, and that's that's why we're, we're having this video. Uh, a lot of people think that, oh my gosh, if I'm inheriting a bunch of money, maybe my parents passed away or grandparents, I'm inheriting a bunch of money, I'm going to get killed on taxes. In fact, Shawshank Redemption, that was uh, the famous scene on the roof. Uh, well, uh, Andy Dufresne was going to get that uh, guard out of paying the taxes because he thought he was going to get killed and he'd lose all of his money. Well, that's not the case. And there's a couple reasons for that. So when uh, somebody inherits uh, an asset, the first thing they're thinking about is, oh, I'm going to have to pay a bunch of income tax because my parents didn't pay much for it. It's gone way up in value and now I'm going to sell and there's a big gain. Well, we have another video talking about the step up in basis. So there is no, no tax on the sale of something that's had a step up in basis. But then there's a separate tax. Aside from the gain from an income tax, there can be a federal estate tax on the value of the assets inherited. So a lot of people think that if I inherit um, you know, $100,000, I got to put 100000 on my income tax return. Nothing can be farther from the truth. There is no such thing as an inherit a federal inheritance tax. There can be a federal or state estate tax. That is taxed to the value of the estate. So the example I want to have here is let's say that there's a lot of money in an estate and uh, I'm talking you know, 10, 20, 30 million dollars uh, and somebody passes away. There probably will be a federal estate tax on the value of that. There's going to be an exemption, so most people don't pay it. The exemption has changed over time. I remember when it was six hundred thousand and a million and two million and three million. It went up to over eleven million. Uh, you know, it's it, it's a moving target. So the federal estate exemption is there, and so that's what you don't pay tax on. But that's at the estate level. So we add up all the value when somebody passes away at the estate level. If it's over the threshold, there's going to be a tax to pay. That tax is paid out of the estate, and then when you inherit money from there, tax has already been paid, if any. So um, a couple other points I want to bring up is states sometimes don't follow the federal guidelines. For instance, in the state of Washington, there's only a 2.2 or, or so million dollar exemption on that, and so a lot of people are paying the state estate tax. Now, one other point I want to bring up is if you do proper uh, planning in your will or, and or living trust, you can double these exemptions for a married couple. And so that's something I also want to talk about here. Brian, can you give me an example of a client that you may have had who didn't quite understand this tax exemption that you're talking about here? Yeah, uh, actually, uh, we, I think I called it the million dollar lawnmower because uh, this fella decided he was going to save $1,000 and do his own will. And so he did his own will, and he did not put in the will a provision for what's called a credit shelter trust provision, and that uh, which would double would have doubled the amount that he could leave to his heirs. And he was so proud of himself because he saved the thousand dollars, and he took the thousand and bought a lawnmower with it. Well, the problem is that uh, even though he wasn't subject to federal estate tax, he was subject to uh, state of Washington estate tax, and it cost him his estate about his kids about a million dollars. Uh, by not having the, a paragraph in the will. And so that's in another video that, that uh, is in this series here. But uh, that was an unfortunate uh, occurrence when he didn't hire a proper attorney and get the will done right. Understanding, had he understood that there are federal and state estate tax exemptions and they can double with the proper wording in a will, probably wouldn't have cost his heirs a million dollars. Yeah, that is a true definition of penny wise and pound foolish. Brian, thanks for telling us about estate tax.